Ricky. What's up, Tyler? Hey, you got that file for me? Could you airdrop it? For sure, I got you, Tyler. Hey, man. Um, I got this great idea for the podcast, but we uh, we fired Ricky last week. Who fired Ricky? The end of the episode. I mean, he did the how thing. I I just talked to him. He's right now. He's working on something for me right now. He stole from us. <laughs> <laughs> it's three doors down. He's literally there. Uh, I think you're saying just. Now, man. <laughs> Who are you? Very funny. Hey, hey what's up? What's up? How you doing? What kind of forever? What? What's up, Jason? How you doing? Who are you? Um, um, me. You've known me for a while now. Can I help you? What are you doing in here? Jason, I'm kind of working here. This is Ricky's office and Ricky was fired. I don't know what you games you're playing, but I'm Ricky. This is Ricky? Yeah, we actually watched uh, Black Panther yesterday. So, I'm really Ricky. That was my Asian friend, Luigi. Jason doesn't know, you can't fire a wolf. I thought Ricky was <laughs> What's up guys, it's Ricky, the real Ricky, not Luigi. Thank you guys so much for enduring the past two weeks of our crazy skits. Uh, we apologize if it ruined your life. <laughs> um, but most importantly, what I wanna say is that we are here to bring you value that is the end goal. So through the rest of this video, you're going to find five of the top sales rules podcast moments. So I'm going to put that right here at the end of this video. Enjoy that. Dive into it. Take notes. Most importantly, I want you guys to know Tyler and Joseph, they're ramping up for some incredible podcasts coming up soon. So you guys hang tight and uh, enjoy these five top moments. <music> My senior year, and I, I, I'd already been drinking alcohol. I was already involved in a whole lot of stuff I shouldn't have been involved in. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't in the great shape that I should have been. And uh, so I'm huffing and a puffing. And I go back to the hull and I call to play. And dead burn, I turn around and whoever's supposed to get the ball don't show up. Guess what? I'm running. I'm running like a crazy man because they after me. And I, uh, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden I run to the sideline. I fake to run out of bounds. And this, this guy that was on me just relaxed. And when he did, bam, I took, took off. off up the sideline. You can't relax, my friend. Nope. There is no time to relax in whatever you do. You, you have to be constantly on guard, guarding everything, giving everything you got, being sensitive, alert, and watching everything that's going on because every time you move and go and do, there are divine appointments, divine connections, people that you're meeting who can actually help you go to that next level. I believe that with all my heart. So, you, 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 listen, you talk about passion. Let me, let, me, let me give you something. This is like salespeople. So, <clears throat> passion wakes me up. You know. and gets me going. I do it early. Uh, I'm full the sun's ever up, I'm up. Oh yeah. And, and I, I have the regimented commitment of what I do every day. I won't say that I do it 100%, but I'm a guarantee I'm in the 98% of time. Yep. It'll be just times when I, I, I've been all night going somewhere and barely getting in. And so I, I, I'm regimented to, to, to do these things. Why? Because I know that down the road, my commitment of what I give myself to will propel me into whatever it is that I'm going to encounter down here. Preparation to me is important. Yes. And so I've, I've, I've always tried to maintain that. So here's what daddy says when I'm young. Mm -hmm. Hey son, say you wanna play football? I'm a sixth grader. So you wanna play football? Yes sir, I wanna play. And he's boxing. I mean he, yep. he is at the top of his rank at this time. And he says, okay. He said, uh, have, I'm gonna, uh, so at five o'clock, you be ready. What? Five o'clock, I get up, I start doing road work because daddy's got to run. He's getting in shape. He's got a box. He's got yep. he's boxing 10 round, 12 round, 
15 round fights. You got to be able to go. <laughs> you got to be able to roll. Yeah, this ain't no three rounder. You know, yeah, yeah. the gloves feel like they weigh 50 pounds on you. Oh, know? yeah. And so I'm, I'm out running. Now, listen to me. This is, this is business. And so I'm running and, and, and I'm huffing and I'm puffing. And here's what he says he's driving a car. He's, he's driving the car down a snake road, old brick road over in Spartanburg. He's driving. I'm beside me. He said, All right, come on, speed it up. I said, I said, I said Come on. And he speeds it up. I'm about to drop dead. <laughs> but here's, here's what he knows he knows because he's older and been through it. There's a little bit more room that he can take me to, even at the point of exhaustion. Yep. You hear me now? So it is in sales, it's what it is in life, it's what it is in anything. We all reach those points where, you know, look, I sold 100 policies. I, I, I've sold insurance. I sold insurance on the back of tractors. Pe people said, people said, uh, what, what, are you, what are you doing? I, I, come, I said, how did you get them policies? I said, well, I was, I was over to a farmer over here, and uh, they, they said, he's on a tractor. The only way you can talk to him is get on the tractor. When he come back up, uh, uh, plowing, Jump on the tractor. I'm on the tractor, man. I'm riding with him, and I'm telling him what's going on. And he says, "Sign all my people up." I, I sign them all up. I mean, this is what you do. You 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 feed on the moment because your passion burns like a blazing fire in you. And I want to break records. I'm not interested in just pop 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 pop, pop, pop kind of going. I've been that way all my life. Cortisol is actually this horrible it's like oxygen we all think like oxygen is great no it it actually kills you right it's hmm. this weird paradox yeah. cortisol you need it and it gives you those highs and that's great but it also is a really detrimental molecule so high levels of cortisol or if you have that higher baseline court which is the dangerous stuff that chronic stress that mm -hmm. probably most of us experience what that does is it kills brain cells First of awesome. all, so it lowers your IQ. <laughs> Let's start this there. Just got a little more important. <laughs> I just became vastly interested. It, what is this? I'm not even sure if I used the right words. Yeah. <laughs> right. What it does is it lowers this BDNF. This right. is like the fertilizer for your brain. It helps new cells grow. Mm -hmm. It keeps it protects the, the cells that are already there. And what Cort does is it lowers that. And it punches holes through the actual cell walls of your neurons. Wow. So it kills your oh brain gosh. cells, lowers your IQ, and this is like immediate. Wow. So it's also linked to, to the six major, the six highest number of deaths or diseases that cause death. So Alzheimer's, heart disease, um, mm. even accidents, because people are stupid when they're operating on high levels of core. <laughs> and they become sleep deprived. And you have, have all cells. of these, yeah, they have dead brain cells. Um, it's... It's a nasty chemical. It's a nasty chemical. You're going to be like, that. I want you to pay attention to this. <laughs> You're like, you need to pay attention to this. It also is like basically talking about really you. destroys it. <laughs> Procrastination, I, I, I want you to take it out of your vocabulary, okay? Um, to me, it's like the word try. <laughs> um, you got a pen on you? I do. We're going to do a little example here. Have we done this before? Not on the podcast. No. I don't think we, we have done it before. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's been in some trainings with me. <laughs> so, it, the word try is, is probably one of the stupidest words that's ever existed in the history of language. So I want Tyler to try to pick that pin up. Try. I did. Try. No, you didn't I pick the pin hard. up. You didn't pick it up. Uh, didn't pick it up. <laughs> try. He picked it up. He didn't try to pick it up. He picked it up. See, there, it, in the in the immortal words of 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 Yoda, Yoda <laughs> do or do not. There is no try. You don't. There's no try. Try doesn't exist. You you do something or you fail at it. You don't do it, mm -hmm. right? And so procrastination is one of those words that I believe. Should be should be bundled up with try, and and burned in a socialist communist sack. Um, <laughs> you can throw in uh, throw in mediocre uh, and average, and you can throw in work life balance. Work like life balance. Were on last That's right. week's podcast. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have a good work-life balance. <laughs> that would be the draft. But I haven't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> that person's screwed. Well, how do I work those that many hours and still be a good dad? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to break the paradigm in your mind that you can only be gone from nine to five, right? Yeah. Everybody thinks I gotta be home at five, gotta do dinner with the family, then I gotta spend an hour talking to my wife. Dear God, how miserable, you know, listening to everything in the day and all that stuff. And then I've gotta try to catch a TV show and go to bed and get up and do it again. And you're, and you're trying to juggle all day, every day. So what we did was, I didn't have to be there every night. I didn't have to be there every morning. I literally would sit down with my family and go, okay, I've got some intensive work to do. This may be a week, it may be two weeks, it may be 30 days, it may be 90 days. And then at the end of this 90 days, this is what I have planned for us as a family. This At the end of this week, this is what I have planned for us as a family. And I'm all in, I'm all there, I'm 100% focused. It's breaking the paradigm in people's yeah. mind and going all in on work and all in on family, no matter what the time frame is. You know, but I think there's a lot of people out there right now that, you know, they're, they're trying to figure out, so how do I put the fire out in my life right now? I'm That's down right. and out, I'm desperate, and I'm listening to this podcast, I'm listening to this show, Sales Wolf, Tyler, JC, man, I, I, I tuned in, and I don't even know why I tuned in, man, I, I can't close the next deal, uh, my life's in shambles, and I want to I wanna challenge that individual right now, just what I did, create a new story. So many times we're defined by what we currently are going through, and that's all we can see. And if all we see what's right in front of us, that's all we're going to have. And when I was at that downtime in life, you're talking about the mental state and emotional state, I remember I had to start to tell myself, you got to start to think, you got to start to speak, and you got to start to act like you're already on the other side. Yep, if you exactly. don't, and say, this is great for sales. I mean, you assume the close before you close. Right? People go, well, Coach JC, I can't close the deal. Like, how did you start a nonprofit and bring together over 60 agencies? It's never been done. Real quick, for those of you that are tuning in for the first time, we do this podcast for two reasons. And what are those, Joe? First off, we want to make sure that all the salespeople out there, it's a lonely career a lot of times, so we want to show appreciation for them. And really, we believe that everybody is in sales. And then also provide tactical training so that people can move beyond where they are. This is Tyler Harris and Joseph Caldwell, and we are the Sales Wolves. Ow. Ow.